love the powerful proclamations of truth that the Litany of Trust spurs me to say, the acts of faith that it inspires in my own heart, that you are continually holding me, sustaining me, loving me. Jesus, I trust in you. I love this prayer. It's true. I don't always feel this way. I have different emotions. I have good days. I have bad days. But throughout all of this, God's love is steady. You are continually holding me, sustaining me, loving me. And these words, they speak directly to the human heart, right? I have huge desires to be loved, to be cherished, to be gazed at with love. And my heart is made this way, your heart is made this way, because God has made us that he might fulfill these desires. Every part of my heart longs to be filled with this kind of love. And God never, at any point in time, ceases to draw me to himself. And this crazy love, it's not parceled out, it's not given in little increments, but it's total and continuous. Jesus tells us in the Gospel of John, I do not ration the gift of my spirit. This abundant and continual, deep outpouring of his heart into mine is available. It's given to me. And when I make these acts of trust, when I say, Jesus, I trust in you, I open my heart in a new way to receive this reality that is, that he is holding me, right? The tender love of God has me in his hands. I love the prophet of Isaiah. You know, he says, um, fear not, for I am your God. I am the one who takes care of you. He says, I'm holding you in my right hand. He goes on and he says, I have not forgotten you. I will not forget you. The heart loves that, right? That our God ever remembers us. I am always a thought of Jesus. And he says, I have engraved you on the palm of my hand, right? This is where we live, right here, safe, secure in his hands. And he sustains us there. In his life, I have life. This is my God, right? I love it. <laughs> I understand this most profoundly in the Eucharist, right? That this God of all creation humbles himself to a tiny piece of bread that I then eat. That his very being gives me life. He sustains me. And in this truth, in this reality, all of my existence flows. That I'm held by him. He's my rock. He's my fortress. He's my deliverer. I don't have to be afraid of the darkness of the world. I don't have to be afraid of the darkness of my own heart. Because in him, Psalm 139, darkness is not dark to you that he can bring me through any darkness that I'm facing. He carries me through life. And he does this because he loves me, right? I am loved by virtue of my baptism. I'm a beloved daughter of the Father. Jesus Christ, I look to the cross, he has laid down his life for me. And there's no greater love than this. I'm loved, I'm valued, I'm wanted, I'm cherished, I'm desired, I'm precious in the eyes of the Father. This is true, I am loved continually, without end. And this is his promise. That's why I love this prayer, that I stand up in the truth that is. You are continually holding me, sustaining me, loving me. Jesus, I trust in you.